Hello guys, yes, thank you, thank you. Today I am here to react to episode 10, aka the final episode of Spinning Out. I know, I know, it's a big surprise guys. I am normally terrible at getting through shows and getting through shows quickly. I don't even think you could describe this as getting through it quickly, but I got through it within a month of it being released and that that is significant for me. <laughs> I will take all the applause. My Oscar, I'm sure, is coming in the mail. Thank you. I want to thank my mom for, you know, getting me the Netflix account. My dad for going to bed early so that I can watch what I want on TV. I'm sure Kaya will be writing me a letter any day now. Oh, I love when you're little kids. They're so cute. Before all the fighting and everything. Oh, that's just like what she asked her a few episodes back when she was like, will you stay with me till I fall asleep? Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I have been saying that since episode one. Stop enabling this girl to be a bitch to you and then come running to you to solve all her problems when she needs it. I'm so proud of Kat. This is this is growth to the highest degree. Forget the triple LUTs or whatever it was that she couldn't plan. Like this, this is it. Oh, Carol, I had such high hopes for you. You were doing so. You got a job. You got a nice boyfriend. You were taking care of your kids. Ugh. I think Carol's saying is she just needs to stop putting so much stock in being, this is going to sound terrible, but like being a mother and really focus on being like taking care of herself and being her own person. And I mean that in that I think of so, mu so much of her self-worth and her value when she thinks of herself is how her kids see her as a good mother or not like we even saw when she had her episode she was like I'm not a bad mom Manny's a better mom than me blah 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 like that was her focus I think she needs to stop focusing so much on that because your kids are never gonna 100% be who you should like look yourselves after like the, you can be the best parent in the world and your kid is still gonna get mad at you for something like that's just gonna happen so I think she needs to stop putting so much stock in like her kids' reactions to her and really focus on like finding worth and being proud of things outside of her kids. And I think that'll help her a lot at the end of the day. What a great way to start a sentence, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Also the like, we're better off with mentally ill people or not in our lives. Um, That's funny because like, he was doing so great when he was with Ken. She's been mentally ill this whole time. She didn't have her bipolar episode, but she had bipolar the entire time. Thank you, Mandy. I knew I could trust you. Uh, I swear he's just doing this to prove his dad wrong. Well, not only to prove his dad wrong, but his dad probably laying out being like, yeah, you're doing the right thing. He's probably like, oh, if my dad's agreeing with me, it's probably not what I want to do. And he realizes that at the end of the day, he wants to stay. That's uh, so wasteful like i don't even if you hate her love the environment mother earth he's just like a lovable puppy i love them both they're so different but like well they're not that different it's just one is like a big dumb dumb and very energetic and the other one's like cool it Oh, fudge. I forgot about that. This man has issues with that. He's already got a past. We can never tell him, Carol. <laughs> no, that's terrible. He does have to know. Go away. Yeah, he does kind of have to suck it up, Justin. Like, I, I get that it's a, a really crappy situation, but at the same time, like, you got a job to do. You get the opportunity to skate in sectionals and with a really great partner. So like, suck it up. And by great partner, I mean she's good at figure skating. Like, I know he's mad at her right now, but it's just like, suck it up, buttercup. I would not, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Carol, have we learned nothing from lying? You did this with Serena and then it all came out in a terrible way. Aww. I like how it's not anything like super monumental. It's just like the feeling hits you. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah, 
Well, I feel bad for Carol because she got herself into this mess, but I feel like she just never had a chance, you know? She's been a mom since she was like, what, 17, 18? Like, it's hard. Ew! Ew! Punch that man right in the dick right now. Wow. I just, I have no words except that I want to slap this man in the face. Oof. Yeah, that's scary. Aww. Not what you expect, I'ma be honest. <laughs> Great start. Aww. Yay! I'm so happy. At least if there isn't a second season, they at least end up together. Yes. Please. Oh, don't hit that lady. <laughs> Look at his dis- he's like, something's up. Suspicious face. Hey, come on. Yes, a hundred percent. Thank you. It fits with him and Kat. Oh. Aww. So cute. Justin, go beat up Dr. Parker Force. Or with Kat, actually, because she could beat him up just by herself. She's gonna flip crap. I keep forgetting she's 16. I always think she's 17. I swear they've changed her age in this like five times. No freaking way. The texts are gonna be like, can't wait to meet you or something like that. Oh, Jen, now's not the time. What does that mean? See, this is why we shouldn't have made up with Jen. She sucks. She just sucks. Uh, she sucks. Like, there's no loyalty with her anymore. Wow, Jen. See, now I don't feel bad for being like, oh, you should make up with her. You shouldn't. You should leave her. Hit her with a crutch. She was lonely and he took advantage of that. Good job, Carol. Aww. What a good, like, family moment to end the season on. I love it. Jeez. I can't even, like, Jen, like, if it all comes out that they were telling the truth, and Jen's like, I'm sorry for not believing you. I would be like, I don't care. Like, you should have. You should have at least listened to me. And I don't want you back in my life. <laughs> that didn't really happen, did it? Like, this is all them imagining things that they want. Did she really? I like this song. It's perfect. Very, like, nostalgic, but also looking forward to the future. Aww. That's so cute. That's so sweet.
that's the end, guys. We don't even get to see if they won or not. I'm going to assume they won and just be, like, a happy person and be like, they definitely won. I feel like it's also, like, obviously I want a season two, but I'm kind of going to be not super upset if there isn't one just because I feel like there was no, like, really big cliffhanger for the most part. I think the only thing would be dealing with the follow of what Serena said and how that's going to start to affect everyone and try and prove what he really didn't get him arrested. I think that would be what the season two focus would be on, but I like that Justin Cat made up, Mandy and Justin's dad made up, uh, Carol and the girls made up, Marcus got to go to Argentina and go skiing and he's going to be awesome. Like, I feel like there was a good wrap up on a lot of stuff. I think season two could focus more on like Serena and Dasha and Carol and stuff like that. I just don't want to see Justin and Kat like fight all over again because I love that they're in a good place now and that they really like respect and love and care for each other. So I don't want to see that ruined in a second season. But if they could do a second season with keeping them, you know, together and maybe just having like normal like couple issues, I'd be 100% for that. So I think that was a really, really good ending to the season. I think it kind of wrapped everything up and I really like that it ended mostly on a positive note. Like, the family all came together, Justin and Kat made up. I feel like it really showed the the benefit of putting yourself out there and forgiving people and trusting people and opening up to people and how communication really is, like, the main thing. I think that is really not something you see a lot. Like, people want to end seasons on big cliffhangers or big, like, sad things to want you coming back for the next season. So I like that for the most part, it was positive. Like obviously what happened to Serena is terrible, but I do like that they showed the positiveness of everyone rallying around her. Like her family didn't judge her. They were there for her and supporting her and they're all gonna deal with this as a family. And seeing Carol step up and be like, Kat, no, like you need to go and skate. This isn't on you, it's on me, I'm her mother. So, so awesome. So I'm really fingers crossed hoping we do get a second season. They typically announce those things like, about a month after the premiere or stuff like that just to give people more time to watch it so I'm sure we'll be finding out within like the next month hopefully if there's gonna be a second season or not. If you've seen this episode please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down in the comments. Also make sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm unsure if I'm gonna do like a whole season wrap up of my thoughts so if you'd like to see that let me know but again yeah I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that so thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you for all the amazing comments along the way like you guys have been so awesome. I love reading your comments and seeing what you're thinking of the show so thank Thank you guys all so much and I will see you next time. Bye!